Hi guys, welcome back to Rybook TV and welcome to the brand new Jaguar I-Pace model year 24. The I-Pace has actually been with us for quite a while now. I think it was 2018 when it first burst onto the scene. And ever since then, Jaguar have been slightly improving it year on year on year until we've got to this, the model year 24, which is a little bit confusing considering we're still in 2023. Well, depending when you watch this video. But what's different for the 24? Well, Jaguar have made a host of small changes to keep the I-Pace up to date. Let's start with the design. Not a whole lot has changed, but the way you can tell that this is a model year 24 is we now have these lovely L-shaped LED front headlights. And the big one is the new front grille, which kind of isn't a grille anymore. There's this just big, large piece of plastic covering the grille, because of course, being fully electric, this car doesn't need all the air intakes. We also have the R dynamic designation on the front bumper as well. But overall, I think that the, the I-Pace has aged quite well. I think it's still a very handsome looking car, especially at the front, it's very aggressive. You've got the big vent on the bonnet up there too. And well, I just think it's aged really well. It's still from the front, a very handsome brute. And the slight changes have just updated it and brought it into this year. Along the side, even less has changed. The real telltale though is down here. This is no longer black plastic, it's added body color, which actually I think looks great. This car is sat on the 20 inch alloy wheels. You can get them all the way up to 22s. I think the side profile still looks modern, still looks sleek. The door handles pop out when you unlock it and then disappear when you unlock it. And so it's nice and flush along the side. But I think overall, it's still a very handsome looking car. Around the rear, nothing has changed in terms of the design, which actually I don't think is a bad thing. You've still got these wraparound LED lights, which sculpt all the way around. You've got sharp edges here, there, and everywhere. Obviously no exhaust pipes because it's fully electric. But it's really aggressive rear spoiler here. And then if we open up the boot, which is fully electric, it opens up to reveal a very usable 505 liters of boot space, which is actually very impressive considering this is purely an electric car. And on the subject of electric, let's talk about this car's range and charging. The I-Pace can charge at up to 100 kilowatts and has a claimed range of around 292 miles. The interior of the I-Pace when it was first launched in 2018 was brand new, revolutionary, and I'm pleased to say that even now in 2023, it still feels fresh, it still feels modern, and it still feels really nice to sit in. I love the steering wheel you get in these modern Jaguars. It was first seen actually in the I-Pace, this new steering wheel, and it's fabulous. It's made its way into the other models now as well. And it's just a really nice thing to hold and to feel. The buttons all on the steering wheel are high quality. Directly in front of me, we've got a digital display, which is really useful for showing your range, your charge, your mileage, etc., etc. You can have the radio on there, you can have the satellite navigation and all sorts. In the middle, we've got Jaguar's Pivi Pro, which actually is a very good system now. However, you're just gonna pay your phone to it, aren't you? And use wireless Apple CarPlay, which is what I've been doing. And it is really simple to use. The touchscreen's nice and responsive, and it looks really good integrated into the dashboard here. Further down, you've got the seat heating controls and the air conditioning controls, which is all, again, done using this little touchscreen down here. And again, it's all really useful. It's all really easy to use. It's very simple. The touchscreen is nice and responsive. I also really like these sort of two pillars down here with the hole in the middle where you can put your phone on the wireless charging pad. And it's just a wonderful place to sit. These are the standard seats. However, you can get the upgraded sport seats now, which were first seen, I believe, in the F-Type, just to make your I-Pace feel a little bit more sporty. Um, but the overall design, the layout, the quality of everything in here is really, really good. There's plenty of cup holders, plenty of space, lovely panoramic sunroof in this car as well. And it's just a beautiful place to sit. I think they've really, just a few changes like the Pivi Pro, etc., has really brought the I-Pace 
up to date. But in all honesty, not a whole lot has changed in here for the model year 24, just the new seats really. But unfortunately this car doesn't have those new seats so I can't actually show you those. But anyway, I think we also need to go and just remind ourselves how the iPACE drives because from memory, I think I remember it's pretty good. Welcome then to the driver's seat of the model year 2024 Jaguar I-PACE. Now I've driven I-PACE a few times before but it's always good to get a refresher because I think it's actually very forgotten about how good this car is to drive. Yes it's electric but it kind of still feels like a Jaguar, it still has the essence of a Jag. It feels, well it feels superb on the road. The ride comfort is fantastic, even across some very broken up potholy roads that we have here in the UK that I'm on right now, it still feels more than comfortable enough. The ride is pretty, pretty good. I think it feels like you could do long distance journeys at ease. The steering is nice and responsive. It feels really, it's a nice weight, I think, between being too light and being too heavy, you just get a nice feedback through the steering wheel. You know exactly what the front end of this car is doing at any given moment. To manoeuvre around town, yes, it is quite a big car, but it's no more difficult to use and to drive than any other big car that I've ever driven. The visibility out is pretty good. The rear window is slightly small, but you kind of get used to it really quickly. A lovely view out and over the bonnet. It does slope off quite quickly so you can't really see where the front is but you learn it very very quick. <clears throat> and then the other thing is the performance. Obviously we know electric cars are quick but this feels very quick. We've got around 400 horsepower which means 0-62 is that within 4.5 seconds and I have to say I think it actually feels slightly faster than that. Let me demonstrate. Yeah, it accelerates like an absolute steam train. It just picks up and flies like pretty much all electric cars. It just, the instant power and the instant torque you get from it never ceases to surprise you. I imagine if you drive it every single day, you kind of get used to it. However, off the mark, I mean, it's just, look at that. Oh, it hurts. It hurts your face a little bit because Accelerating in an electric car is noth like nothing else out there. It's not like accelerating in an internal combustion engine car because you've obviously got gears to go through, but this is just a relentless surge of power and torque. Yeah, it's a quick thing. And then once you get to the twisty roads like I'm on now, it's, it's not lost. It doesn't feel like it's wallowing around. It doesn't feel like, oh, I wish I was in something lower and more sporty. It actually has incredible composure when you want to start throwing it into bends. It's not a light car by any means, but it doesn't feel the weight that it is. It gives you a lot of confidence, to be honest, and it actually, it wakes up a bit and it's, it's good fun. It's good fun to drive. And that's the thing that impresses most, I think, about the I-Pace is that you get all these benefits of it being electric, an SUV with loads of space in it, a beautiful interior, some really still brilliant looks, I think, and you still get that Jaguar feel. It still feels fun to drive. So if you are interested in one of these things, please use the link in the description of this video and in the top of the screen to contact Rybrook Jaguar Huddersfield to book a test drive. Go and drive one. Go and experience it. And if you want any more information, please, please, as a, again, use those links to contact the, the sales team there. Go and experience one. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel for plenty more content to come. And I'll see you guys again really soon.